I got to get the coach up on that deal. We've been talking about uh, Chris Laviano, just his assessment of, you know, of his day. Uh, you know, we, I think as a, as a whole on offense, if, we, if we're going to try and win uh, more decisively, I thought that we could have in that game. we got to throw and catch the ball better. You look at the passing stats, and I think that's a telling, telling uh, statistic. So uh, I think for uh, both the quarterbacks and the wideout unit, uh, tight ends included in that, we got to throw and catch the ball better. Uh, that's the one glaring uh, issue that I thought that we had today. True, the, tr the trick play with Janarian, uh, yeah. something that I guess you guys have been working on a while. Why was that the right time for it? It just it was uh, we had a lot of uh, momentum going into to that play. Uh, it was the right time. Uh, it's about that's the same place we got on the right hash. We had practiced it from from that location uh, for a couple weeks. So uh, him being at the right place, right time. Uh, it was just it was that just felt right, honestly. And so uh, with a lot of momentum going uh, into that play, it made a lot of sense. So it's fun having a player like him, where you know there's so many different things you can do. Oh uh, yeah, you find a bunch of those guys. And, it gets a lot of fun, but yeah, Gen Janarian's great, and Janarian uh, uh, is selfless too. You look out in the perimeter and watch that kid block. Um, he's he's the same, um, the same intensity that he brings to running the ball, returning the ball, uh, and passing the ball. Now uh, he brings to uh, all phases of his game, including blocking. So you're able to score quickly on a couple of big plays. Is that ideally kind of like you know what you'd like to see out of this? Uh... No, I think you'd like to score any way you could. Um, the, the, a couple of the big ones that we scored, you know, Rob's run, uh, did not expect, honestly, that one to truly break the way that it did, but uh, the credit to the O-line, uh, specifically on that play, our left tackle three, Cole, uh, did a nice job. And Rob, uh, Rob broke through, uh, protected the football and got away to the end zone. But uh, we'd like to, you know, uh, especially toward the end of the game, we would have liked to have punched it in a few more times and made that uh, a more decisive victory for us. Um, and we didn't do that, so that's an area that we got to improve. But not necessarily just always quick hitters. Conversely, you just you just alluded to it. I mean, what do you need to do to get more consistency? I mean, for four quarters. Uh, I, you know, we talked about uh, going into the game that we had to start fast. We had to start fast, and we didn't do that. You know, we got three drives as th uh, three and out, um, and uh, you know, it took it took a spark at that point. And that uh, the touchdown to Jawan Harris was that. Um, and uh, I almost called a run play there um, at that time, but that, that one just felt right at that right time. And so uh, I was kind of frustrated a little bit uh, for obvious reasons. And so uh, that kind of provided the spark for uh, getting our offense going in the right direction earlier rather than later. I'm assuming you're keeping that in the playbook? Yeah, that one's going to probably stay. <laughs> Robert Martin's a, a day assessment of him? Robert had a great day. Uh, you know, Rob uh, rushed the ball well. He had, came out with 169 yards rushing. Um, did a really good job. I think that you know he, he put the one that he recovered on the ground, but uh, we got to get that that part fixed. But uh, other than that, I thought he ran physical between the tackles, um, and credit to the O line and the, and the tight end uh, for what they did to make that part happen. Coach uh, Zach Allen, what did you see from him this week, and what were your thoughts on him today? Zach Allen had a, a great week of preparation. He really did, and uh, you know at that time in the game, you know, Laviano was. Uh, uh, struggling a little bit right there, and uh, so he needed a breather to, to kind of reassess the situation and get his mind back into it, uh, uh, the right, I guess, the right frame of mind. And so Zach was the, the right person to go in for a series. And, uh, uh, you know, it, when he came back, Fabiano was in, uh, was fine after that. So. What kind of player, I'm sorry, you're, you're good. What kind of player does it take? I mean, we've seen him before, but for Janari, you know, he's obviously such a big part of your offense, but then he's also such a big part of special teams. A lot of times, guys might struggle you know, with that many responsibilities. What, what kind of person does it take to juggle as many as he does and seemingly do them all pretty well? To be honest with you, uh, in, I think he's the most competitive guy, on the, one of the most competitive guys on the team. Um, and that kid, uh, he, he's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, that kid loves football. And so whatever you throw at him, he eats it up. You know, he doesn't love everything. There's, things, there's days where he's not out there always like feeling it. You know, and we got to get him motivated uh, and ready to go. And uh, credit to Coach Williams on, on that job. But uh, the uh, that kid loves football. When you put when you put the, the the ball on the ground, that kid is ready to play. Um, and he he likes being out there. He likes practicing. He likes every phase of the game. So you give that kid as much as he can handle. And uh, in special teams or uh, offense, he's he's been great. Drew, the end of the game, you guys obviously are protecting the lead, but it's still a one-score game. So. How are you managing trying to go for the touchdown versus, I guess, you 
you showed some confidence in Bonagora there, I guess, playing it rather conservatively. Talking with coach on the on the headset, uh, <coughs> say what do we, you know, from a from a team strategy, what do we think is the the right approach here? We got the ball in great field position. Um, was it pertinent to to take shots down the field or try and throw the ball when we weren't throwing the ball very well? No. Um, let's run the ball. We we got into field goal range, and you know, if Bonagora was he was already two for two at that point. So uh, in talking with uh, special teams coordinator Coach O'Cruz, he's like he feels good. Um, if if we're in, in field goal range, let's let's not do anything crazy. Let's not try and uh, create a scenario where we might turn the ball over. So uh, that's, it was the appropriate the appropriate ta uh, thing to do there. More questions? Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys.